UV energy that comes to us from the sun, we can break down into its component parts, just like we can break down white light that comes to us from the sun into its component parts, Roy G. Biv. UV energy we can break down into the parts which are UVA, UVB, and UVC. These are listed from the lowest energy to the highest energy, just as you can list the colors of energy from low to high. So UVA is the lowest energy and it's the least damaging. So it um, reaches Earth's surface uh, and this is the most of the energy that is the UV energy that comes to Earth is UVA. Okay, And um, UVA is also known as black light if you go to glow in the dark or if you have a UV light, um, commercially, commercially purchased UV light. Um, sometimes you see it in banks or to, um, to, for UV sensitive inks. It um, is common. And so this is a UV energy that can cause wrinkles and skin aging because it can penetrate several layers in, uh, deep into the skin. Um, it is beneficial uh, in that it's used to detect UV inks. Okay, but yes, for humans, if you're not wanting to look old, um, you protect yourself from UVA, um, and this is not immediate damage but long term. UVB, this is higher energy, and UVB also hits us and penetrates through the atmosphere, but a lot of it is actually absorbed by ozone in the stratosphere, and that's way up there above. The troposphere, the stratosphere is above 30,000 feet and it is protecting us from the harmful effects of this higher energy UVB as well as the harmful effects of the higher energy UVC. Okay, and um, ozone in the stratosphere absorbs the higher energy UVC and most of the higher energy UVB. Okay, now what kind of damage does UVB cause? Um, so UVB causes sunburn, causes skin cancer, melanoma, and this is over long-term exposure. But UVB also has beneficial effects. So beneficial effects are suntan due to melanin production and also vitamin D. So suntan and vitamin D. Remember I said you can buy vitamin D or you can go outside for about 10 minutes. Um, but the negative effects are sunburn and skin cancer. So UVB is uh, mostly, we're mostly protected from it, but um, you do protect yourself in general by buying sunscreen and sunblock that will protect yourselves overall from UVA and UVB that does reach Earth. Now UVC is the highest energy, and this, fortunately, is, though it's very dangerous, it fortunately is completely absorbed by ozone and oxygen in the st stratosphere. So completely means completely. There should be no UVC uh, reaching Earth. For the most part, it is not. And um, how ozone protects us is by basically sacrificing itself way up there in the stratosphere. When it's hit with UVC, it um, breaks apart and it is basically the bonds are taking up the energy that UVC would be coming down and hitting us and breaking the bonds in our molecules. There are some beneficial effects to UVC and that's part of this week's discussion is that UVC can break bonds in biological molecules and it's used for disinfection. So it's being discussed um, for a quick way to disinfect say hotel rooms or airplanes um, that would be exposed to viruses, mean like coronavirus. So we need protection from UVA and UVB. This is what reaches us from, from the sun. It um, penetrates Earth's atmosphere, but we are protected from UVC thanks to Earth's atmosphere, and that's ozone and oxygen way up there in the stratosphere. So we have reaching us from the sun, coming um, down to Earth's atmosphere is UVA and UVB. UVA is longer wavelengths and penetrates several layers. So UVA is longer wavelength, and longer wavelength is also lower energy because those are inversely proportional. 
and this is compared to UVB that is shorter wavelength and shorter wavelength or higher energy than UVA. And so literally shorter and doesn't pass through um, beyond the top level of the skin. So UVA reaches down and causes um, damage down here. This is skin aging, like wrinkles or sunspots. Um, and UVB, though higher energy, only hits the surface. And that causes the beneficial effects, suntan, vitamin D production, and also the detrimental effects like sunburn, which depends on the amount of melanin in your skin, as well as skin cancer melanoma is UVB. So skin damage is something that happens over time. Uh, so it's not immediate. So UVC could certainly do some damage immediately, but remember we're protected from it. But UV, uh, over time, UVA and UVB can um, accumulate as far as the types of damage that does beyond um, the skin aging. So over time, most skin cancers are linked to skin type and which is basically the amount of melanin. So this is showing different skin types, um, white, male, white, female, black, male, black, female, by the different colors. And uh, this is over a range from 2000 to 2012. You can see basically over those uh, 12 years or so, the number of melanoma, so this is skin cancer melanoma mortality, um, per 100,000 is the same, but what's different is the skin types. Okay, and so there's exposure to sunlight, maybe a difference, male versus female, for both uh, skin types. But over time, uh, melanoma is not something that happens to young people. It's accumulated and generally affects older populations.